舞台は寝台神秘残り最後の時代魔獣スクーウルクの地で最大の悪が目を覚ますフェイトグランドオーダー第7得意点絶対魔獣戦線バビロニア Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Babylonia in Fate Grand Order. We're moving on to the Decisive Battle, which is, I see, Section 15. I think I looked it up and there's more numbers than 15, so we're not actually into the Decisive Battle right now, but we're seemingly on our way. Now that we have Quetzal Quaddle on our side, we can definitely get her to join us here. We have our Killcaster team. And you know what, let's move up you... And yep, 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 that all looks good, that looks good. Okay, let's get going. I've been, I don't want to say I'm rushing through, but I have been saying, yes, I'm going to record at least, you know, an hour or so every day, hoping to just get on through, you know, because people really want me to get to that Christmas event, and boy, I might. We've arrived at a Rook, Senpai. Good work on your non-stop trek back from Kutha right after emerging from the underworld. Yeah, seriously. Before I was summoned as a servant, I never thought I'd be forced to walk this much. Had I known, I would have brought a carriage with me. My boat only has room for one, sorry. Well, I would have been fine with having just, uh, Tanner on board, but no way, not without Mash, he says. Aww. If that's the case, should I call for my winged serpents? I'd have to start getting them accustomed to humans, though. A winged serpent gondola, huh? That's new. Sounds fun. Oh. Hi. Did you go on, like, a level-up quest without us? I'm not sure about this outfit. Welcome back, Tanner. Merlin, you're still alive, too. That's good. Well, we're back, Anna. Yes, I'm glad you are all safe. Siduri's informed me of the situation. We've returned, Anna. Um, uh, also? Your hood is down. Are you okay? I know you've had it up all this time. Yes, as the people of Uruk State take such good care of us, I didn't think it was a good idea to keep concealing my face. And I was told that it'd be better to show my face, so I took it off. You're as cute as I expected. Yes, I look forward to working with you again. Now, excuse me. I was asked to herd some bulls at the farm, so I'll be going. King Gilgamesh is awaiting you at the Ziggurat. I'll see you again at the Chaldean Embassy. Anna basically flew over to the farm. She seemed very happy. <laughs> Something traumatic's gonna happen to ruin her. <laughs> it's coming up. I knew it. Okay, yeah. Something really good for Anna must have happened. I don't know the circumstances, but I'm glad to see her like that. I was the one that brought her here to a rook. It would be great if the if it leads to something better. Oh boy. It's bustling. Streets are full of people. Everyone is doing their best and still smiling. It's totally different from the last time I was here. Yes, I didn't know a rook was such a charming city. Yeah, because you were trying to kill people. Well, not really. Today, they seem even livelier than usual. Hey, right, what's that giant seal? <laughs> Arf. Arf. Sorry. <laughs> just, just imagining this large seal just going by. How? What is that? Celebrating the king's third return from the underworld, it says. Look, free jerky. Hang on, what are all those ugly clay things? The king battles a fairy in the underworld. The king falls off a cliff in the underworld. The king strikes a proud triumphant pose in the underworld. These are too funny. And... This clay companion of his is... Yep, it's you, Tanner, no doubt about it. I mean, he has a really cute face. Looks like King Gilgamesh is all prepared, too. Let's hurry over to the Ziggurat. We have two more days, including today, before Gorgon's attack. We don't have much time left. It's gonna be probably a training session with Gilgi. Uh, the Chaldeans have returned. Let's have our strategy meeting for the Gorgon attack. Siduri! You've all done splendid work on your last mission. Given the way the king is, I shall convey our gratitude on his behalf. We prepared a small celebration at the embassy, so once the meeting is over, let us head that way. What? I've heard nothing about this. Hmm. So this is our battle plan? Let's see. My name is not on this. <laughs> you careless fool. Surely you forgot to write it down. My king, you cannot go. Your schedule after this meeting is full. Now everyone, let's go get up to speed on the current situation. 
Currently, all remaining forces have gathered at Uruk's northern wall to prepare for the imminent invasion on Gorgon's main army. The demonic beasts have gathered in the Cedar Forest. They number roughly 100,000. That's over 10 times the size of our force. The northern wall has been fortified repeatedly, but once they invade, it won't last more than half a day. On top of that, if Gorgon herself appears, the northern wall will almost certainly collapse under her attack. With no wall, the soldiers will find it hard to retreat, and will likely be swallowed by the waves of demonic beasts. Sir Gorgon has bred that many demonic beasts, huh? She must have concentrated on producing enough for a sure win. For a goddess of vengeance, her tactics are oddly human, yes? She knows relying on sheer numbers is the best way to win. That's right, humanity cannot win if our forces are overwhelmed in terms of quality and quantity. In the face of such a massive attack, we won't be able to defend. That means the only thing we can do is attack their base. We of Uruk will buy you some time, half a day at the Northern Wall. While we do that, you both head to Gorgon's base, the Blood Temple, also called Blood Fort. It lies in the underground lake deep within the Cedar Forest. It's the same as Quetzalcoatl's Sun Temple. If we can stop the temple from functioning, Gorgon will lose much of her authority. That should give us the chance to defeat Gorgon, but we really expect everything to go to plan? First of all, how are you going to destroy the Blood Fort? Humans can't even get through its entrance, you know. If I flew around that area a few times to check things out, or I flew around it, the thing is more like a fortified mountain than a temple. And in that mountain is a cave where she's made her nest. It's like she's an ant. Protecting the entrance to that cave is a bounded field, so normally you need to organize some sort of siege, right? That's where the Axe of Marduk comes in. It should be able to destroy the Blood Fort and carve a path to the inside. This morning, a mysterious servant calling themselves the Jaguar Parcel Service <laughs> delivered the axe to us. Per the king's orders, we sent it directly to the northern wall. The servant left the message for Lady Quetzalcoatl, too. That last job burned me out. This is positively the worst. You can totally ignore that, yes. Please make them work even harder, yes. Still, there's a slight problem. That axe is heavy, too heavy to carry easily. Even if the winged serpents reach the northern wall, will they be able to fly to the cedar forest in half a day? Besides, the demonic beasts would most likely shoot them down midway. And we should throw it. You can do that much, Sun Goddess, can't you? That would be a bit, uh... awesome. It's 30 kilometers from the north wall to the temple. Well, if it's just throwing the axe, I can do it, yes. You can do it? Still, it's no use. I just can't attack that place. The Alliance rules are still in effect. The members are forbidden from attacking each other, yes. Any goddess who breaks the pact, like with the inactive violence, would be completely annihilated, yes? How petty! Just say the pact is absolute, yes, son, but I don't care, no! I'll just break it and die! What, are you not mad enough to do that? I am not, no, I'm a goddess after all, yes, you're the petty one, king. <laughs> to begin with, you don't have enough gold to call yourself king, no, only one golden arm? That's a little cheap, yes? How dare you bring that up? Hardly surprising, though, considering you're the king of the city of gold. Anyway, I just haven't shown my full strength yet, that's all. My true guys will blow you out of this world. Figuratively, I mean. From surprise. Not like the design on the sarcophagus of the Pelinque. <laughs> the what? Okay. Pelinque sarcophagus. I'm googling it. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting design. And I Google it, and it says it's not an alien astronaut. Oh, is this like the thing that people thought... Ah, uh, this is the thing that people relate the Aztecs with the, um... That's the thing that they relate the Aztecs with the... Aliens. I see. I see. And here we go with the back and forth insults again. Gilgamesh is like... He's a scary king, but he seems to love arguing and insults. That may be the biggest difference between him and King Ozymandias. Yes, the latter is a god king, and he rules as such. There's nothing divine about the way King Gilgamesh acts. They are both marvelous kings, but they're both intense. It must be hard for those around either of them. Anyway, enough talk of gold, both of you. The real question here, which none of you have bothered to ask, is how we'll get the Axe of Marduk to the temple. The answer is, I'll take care of it. You will? Are you going to carry the axe with magecraft? No, no, that's impossible. It's a divine weapon. It repels human magecraft. I'd barely be able to do anything with it. Maybe levitate a little and drop it, but that's about it. Only skilled transporters like winged serpents and goddesses like yourselves would be able to carry it. So how about a plan like this? First, Tanner and I sneak into the cedar forest and head to the temple. 
Once we're close enough to the temple, I'll give you the signal and you'll just throw the axe to me. I'll take care of the rest somehow, probably. That's not okay, huh? So, uh, let me take just a bit of this red cloth from my staff. There, wrap this around the axe. The cloth and my staff are one and the same. Even if your aim is a bit off, the axe should reach me. Mm, that will work, yes. Are you okay with that, king? I hate to rely on Merlin, but that's a good middle ground. Any objections, Tanner? I feel there's no other choice. Right, then. Let's go through this one last time for you fools. We have two days left until the deadline Gorgon's set. We'll never win, though, if we sit around and wait for her big invasion. Therefore, we will move out tomorrow, red at dawn. Galdia's heroes, led by Tanner, will enter the Cedar Forest, plunging into enemy territory. At the same time, we'll begin our diversion at the Demonic Front. We'll have squads at the Northern Wall to lure the Demonic Beasts away. That will allow Tanner and company to make their way through the Cedar Forest to the entrance to the Blood Fort. At Merlin's signal, Quetzalcoatl will throw the axe of Marduk to him. Merlin will then use the axe to smash the temple open. What follows should be obvious. Tanner heads deep within the shrine as quickly as possible, faces the goddess Gorgon, and wins. I shall call this Operation Marduk Blitz. That's a sick name. Keep in mind, the fate of the Northern Wall rests on this battle. That's a sick name. That's a real good name. Operation Marduk Blitz? Sign me up. That sounds like a... Sounds like a Super Nintendo side-scrolling space shooter. Marduk Blitz. Blit, blitz. Not Bliss. That's a, that's a different genre of game altogether. Alright, what are we dealing with? Are we in the forest? No. We're just battling... Hands here. For some reason. Well, we'll get to see if Situnai's moveset has been updated. Okay. So we're gonna then do... Oh, but that, let's see, does, does, do her moves change? It didn't really... Oh yeah, that's new. So a little bit changes. Mostly in the fact that, you know, they don't have the bear come out of nowhere. The bear's just always there. Oh, little Shiro, we love you. Okay. Again, I don't love her final design because it gets away from looking like... Um looking like Ilya, but, ah well. Not much to do about that. Let's see if her full thing changes. So rolling ball. Logs into that. Jump in there. Oh! Bear laser's new. The bear laser is certainly a new thing. Oh, uh, and we are fighting Gil. That's what I thought. Well, what better thing to do than to just yeet him as far as possible. Um, so the random effects here are apparently really good. I say as I don't even get one of them, but that's fine. Um, I did also level up most of her stuff. Um, mostly I got everything up to level 6, except for I think this one, this one I got to level 8, and this one I got to level, yeah, level 8 there, so... I did pretty good on that, so let's start by yeeting you, and then doing this, and then... Actually, let's just do a full combo with you. Because we'll get rid of Gil. At least I think we will. And we'll see how we do. God, I wish that was me. Okay, so not enough to straight kill, but did lots of damage still. Okay, so this time we'll go. A little bit like that. So we'll, we'll low, slow, slow, my man. Let's see if this gets a new animation. Nope. Not the same. Ooh, so close. Wow, CJ and I, she's already able to do her super again. That's kind of wild. You don't normally get that. That's a lot of regain, huh? 
How funny would it be, though, if, like, you beat this battle and he fades away again? And it's like, well, time to go back to the underworld. So how much does she get back? 27%. That's not bad. And then once the turn ends, well, we don't have any more. It's going to see once the turn ended if she got, like, a bunch back again or something. I hope these Arms of Glories are dropping some experience things, because I'd like that. Okay. And we'll just finish with a big buster combo. I just realized the fact that we're using Ishtar here also makes sense. I like it. Also, three goddesses. Kind of. Multiple. Because she's many, but... We'll learn about her story once we get to that Lost Belt. Oh my god! That's exactly what I wanted, actually. That's pretty base, dude. Can we can we battle this over and over? That'd be cool. No, there's no way. It's like you get a little, little EXP as a treat. Yeah, wow, all this for us? <laughs> Indeed it is. It's my way of being considerate. Your work in the Underworld was quite something. If I die again, I know who to call. Hmm. The only thing left to do is return to the Chaldean Embassy, get things ready, then head over to the Northern Wall. Are you staying here, King Gilgamesh? It'll be the decisive battle for humanity. Of course, I can give orders from here. If, and I mean only if, you fail to accomplish your task, the next battle will be here in a rook. If a rook falls, Mesopotamia will meet its end. What kind of a king would I be if, it wasn't, if I wasn't there for it? I see. You really are going to be the last line of defense. I always knew Uruk was humanity's oldest fortress city. But now I see how it came to be that way. Its roots, its origin. However, Kingu is on Gorgon's side. He is the complicating factor for the singularity. Which means he could be a tougher opponent than Gorgon. I think you're the only one who can stop that imposter. And so, you won't come to the Northern Wall? So tedious. If I'm to die in this battle, I'll be at the Ziggurat. I will entrust Quetzalcoatl with intercepting this Kingu. He's not one of the three goddesses. The pact doesn't apply to him. Isn't that right, Quetzalcoatl? See, sure thing. In any case, I can't accompany you to the Blood Fort. I'll handle King with the Northern Wall. I see. If you're okay with it, that's that. Then is this the farewell, Gilgamesh? By defeating Gorgon, the crisis will be averted for now. The King of Mage's Grail will be retrieved and this era will not collapse. And the job you gave us ends there, right? Indeed. Impressive you held out for this long. Be well to the world's end, Mage of Flowers. You too, if your legend is to remain, I'll see you again in the distant future. When you join my party eventually, of course. Hi, people. You're all in my house. Such a huge spread, thanks to Siduri. This is quite the little party. Oh, what a joyous occasion. Our once quiet lounge is now overflowing with people. I guess it's the result of helping around the city. Food, flowers, booze. They're all gifts from the Uruk citizens. I'm sure this crowd is making Anna nervous. I'll go up to her room and check on her. We have a bit of time till we depart. You guys should relax. Hey, good work. I heard of your adventures in the Underworld. I heard you helped out King Gilgamesh this time. Thanks. On behalf of the citizens of Uruk, we are grateful. You know, when this embassy was first made, we were all disgusted, questioning what good outsiders could possibly do. But we were fools for that. Racism is gone. We thought that we should do something to repay you for all you've done. We talked it over in the market, next thing you know, well, here we are. I know it's a bit rowdy right before your departure, but we ought to see you guys off. Oh, a handshake. That's a handshake! The thing... Tanner and the others are always... Did we invent handshakes? I'll do it too, let me shake your hand. I'm part of the operation, but this is an advanced celebration. You guys never cease to amaze me, like that one case with the hundred crocodiles living in the river. The what? Now, that's nothing compared to them getting rid of the beehive at our place. I panicked, thinking it was the end of the world. It was a swarm of bees that made the room dark as night. When Mash charged in at the end with her shield at the ready, <laughs> what a shock that was for me. From the bee's venom, that is. And did we talk about Tanner transporting the ale? We haven't? Then listen up, it was amazing. The three varieties from Isin, Uma, and Gursu got all mixed up with no labels and we couldn't tell them apart. It'd take three days to sort, but then their flavor would be lost. That's when these folks use their sharp wits. But what do we do for the alcohol? Everyone is coming one after another to greet us. It makes me happy, but also a bit sad. Previous singularities were journeys, but this time we stayed in one place for a long time. It almost feels as if everyone is celebrating for us as citizens of a rook. 
Uh, we went through a lot. Yes, I'd have liked to clean up in the end. Huh? Fu? Fu! I see, Senpai, there's apparently someone outside. That person is debating whether or not to enter. It's Gil. Let's go see who it is. It's Gil. Excuse me, do you have something for the embassy? Oh no. Oh, I'm so glad. So this is the Caldean Embassy. Woo! Senpai, this old lady's eyes. As you can see, my old age has taken its toll on my eyesight. I didn't think I'd ever walk outside again. But I came here waiting to give thanks one last time. Thanks, you say? You mean to us? Yes, that's right. To that little girl. That little girl treated me really well. I'm rather stubborn, you see. I kept my flower shop open, pretending not to hear my family's opposition. Yes, just a formality. I couldn't be at the storefront. I couldn't attract customers. My grandchildren were so kind in bringing those flowers to me, but all I did every day was let them wilt. But then that girl came to help me out. Sometimes these blind eyes can feel the light. The past few days I felt like I was young again. But then I too was hit by that illness. I was down with the sickness. Wah! I thought I was going to die until yesterday. My family had given up. They had tried to let me depart. I accepted it, thinking I'd lived long enough. But then, I looked straight in their eyes and I said, I lived, bitch. But that girl clung onto my body. This lady is still alive, so don't bury her, she said. That must be why. I was about to disappear in the underworld, but I started to feel I could live a bit longer. When I woke up, she was right at my side. I touched her face for the first time then, and I was so surprised. I didn't know she was so beautiful, such a waste to hide it under cloth. I told her she'd become the most beautiful girl in town, and that's why she should keep her head up. But I really am getting old, I should have at least given her a floral headpiece. So today I came out by myself, I wanted to give this to her to say thanks for everything. That's a new UI element. Understood, thank you. We'll make sure Anna gets it. Anna, no, no, that was for Merlin. Good. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. You sound like a kind girl, too. That girl was quiet, awkward, and timid. But with you folks nearby, I'm sure she had a lot of fun. We hope so, yes. That'd make us happy, too. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for being kind to Anna. I'm sure she was happy to have met someone like you. Oh my god, that's a mash crying sprite. You think so? Well, then my long life was worth living. Even though I'm an old woman whose time is almost up, I was able to help someone again. Well, that explains that. Again, Flower Shop, nice callback to Hollow Ataraxia. If you didn't already know exactly who that is. Okay. Ishtar it is, because people are saying in the comments for today, they're like, hey, use the story characters, they get buffs. And it's like, okay, well, if you insist, let's go. So, where are we off to now? Why, if it isn't the heroes of Caldia, I take you departing for the Northern Wall today? Yes, I'm sorry to part with everyone who celebrated for us, but we must reach the Northern Wall by tonight. By tonight? We don't have much time. I apologize for holding you up. Please be careful. May the goddess Ishtar protect you. I want, <laughs> I want Ishtar to say, I will. <laughs> so they don't know. Okay. So I was wondering about that. I'm like, do, do the people know that the goddess is alright? They don't. Okay. The goddess is actually right next to us. That's so funny. She's like, yeah, I will. <laughs> oh, Adder, you be careful, too. I finally got a glimpse of your face. You're a lovely young lady. I'm once again reminded that my memory has its benefits. Smile. Gatekeeper, you should be more alert. You'll be caught off guard in that state. 
So now that we're headed to the Northern Wall, demonic beasts will never reach here. Of course, as always, I will eagerly await your return. Yo, shoutouts to gatekeepers. They're, they're a continual good force in video games. They're a good friend. Um, it's a carriage. A carriage is coming. This late in the game, a carriage appears out of nowhere. Merlin, what is this? I summoned it with Magecraft, of course. Spending half a day walking to Northern Wall would be such a pain. Where was this before? Well, you know, I just can't bring out something that doesn't belong to this era on a whim. Come, come, no time to waste. Hold on tight. He forgot. Wait, who? Ha ha ha, time out, folks. Keep your eyes on the road. Hello, look ahead. About three kilometers ahead. Local delinquents are after you. Who's this? How do I know it's up several kilometers ahead? Because I'm watching all of you from the sky. Oh. Hi. Master this voice. It's a bird. It's, I mean, a flying boat. It's the sound of the rotten soul of a jaguar. Yes, we passed that twerp just now. Oh, cuckoo, you ring serpents are too slow. Out, out, no beat. Stop pecking. I know you guys are just doing your best. I know it's pretty rough to have no rest for four whole days. But hold out a bit longer. If we don't deliver by tomorrow, the king won't reward us. Wow, look at them carrying that axe. An aerial transport of 300 winged serpents. It's quite a sight. I agree, but pay attention to the danger up ahead. Do this carriage together in a hurry. It won't hold up in a fight. Ishtar, you can fly, so take care of this. Clear out our path of obstacles. <laughs> Devinkin is next to me saying, The best thing Merlin ever made was that fake arm. One rocket shot from the Bastignon III, and you'd be in the clear. But whatever. She's pouting and sulking too, but that's not important. Okay, leave it to me. I have no mercy for Ben. It's time for some death from above. See, the funny thing is, by making it be um, sabers, you're like actively encouraged to pick her. So it all works out in the end. That's pretty dang cool. All right. Hey, could you also give us some... Mount o o o o o o Bandit Survivor, okay. If you could also give us some of the um, Gold Berserker tokens, that'd be pretty cool. They won't. You need to be a servant for that. Poppin' potions. I like how it's like even here, we're still fighting the same like pirate models. Because of course. So we'll get rid of this guy. Okay. Nice hit. Good job. You really you really got me. Do you even know who you're attacking, you fool? Alrighty. Next set. What do we got? It's more bandits. Um, I'm not gonna use a blade works. Do you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Let's do that because we don't need any more meter with you. Ooh, nice crit. Nice crit as well. <laughs> this dude really thinks a potion's gonna do anything. Okay. Give her a little bit extra meter. There we go. Alright, what's our final opponent? Mysterious Citizen X. Okay. Alright, well. Let's see how well you do against the power of three noble phantasms. One after another. Um, this. Okay, we'll go... Like this. Let's see how we do. I have a feeling that this will just rip, tear, all that good stuff. Okay, that was a lot of- oh well! We only needed one in the end. That's pretty good, 64,000 on a single target? That's pretty good for a Noble Phantasm, honestly. I was gonna really work on making, like, Archer, like, my best go-to guy, but honestly, at this point, 
probably better to do it with Gil. Because he's just better. You know? Well, except for his crits. But we made it somehow. Although it took longer than I would have liked. The axe isn't delivered yet. Guess it'll barely make it by noon tomorrow. Well, we can still accommodate that. Well, it's about four hours before daybreak. We may feel uneasy here, but we should all get some sleep if we can. I agree. We have the officer's room that was given to us last time, so please rest there, senpai. We'll also get some sleep to prepare for tomorrow. Four hours of sleep is better than none. I'll go check on the soldiers, then. We'll have some touchy-feely lucha libre. After all, we will fight together tomorrow. Yes, they will love that. I'll go back and check on Jaguar. She might get sidetracked, you know. Why aren't you nice to care about my no-good minion, Ishtar? Uh, well, half of it is just to kill time. I don't sleep well anymore, not since I found out about a Reshkigal boring my body at night. I'm going to rest, too. I'll see you here in four hours upon daybreak. Uh, then... Woo! Good night. I'm sleepy time. Oh. I guess we're not. Anna, you're not gonna rest? I can't sleep, so I'm taking a walk. What about you, Tanner? Don't you need to sleep? Ah, I'm thinking of staying up till morning. I think that I understand. Waiting, wanting to take a walk because there's nothing else to do. Remembering that we were just at a rook yesterday. For some reason, those kinds of things keep popping up in my head. They've been keeping me awake. It's pathetic. Ah, a lot has happened. Yes, true. Though I focus mostly on battle, so I didn't actually join in in the fun with everybody. Still, thank you. No, thank you. So that's my go-to reply. That's what's so great about you. From the time we met in the forest all the way until now, you've never asked me anything. Trusting a suspicious servant like me without asking is anything is strange. Oh, it's because I already know who you are. Do you enjoy your rook? Well, no, not really, since I dislike humans. Humans are smart creatures. You constantly look for other possibilities and what ifs. You will always choose what's better. That's why human cities vary from one another. However, when something new is created, what happens to things that are no longer better? It would have been fine if they just became ordinary, if humans could forget about them or stopped using them. But no, humans try to reject them. They say they're evil. They believe the new will be useless if the old and ordinary remain. That old lady was being treated the same way, protecting shriveled flowers inside that dark, dreary house of hers. At first, I only helped her because it was a job. She looked so happy and she told me so many stories. Even though she couldn't see anymore, she was at peace. Even though she was lonely, she never spoke of it. She treated me like her grandchild. We ate butter cake together. She said, isn't it delicious? Even though she couldn't taste anything anymore. Oh, that's real sad. Here, this is for you. Laurel headpiece for me? This is that flower shops. The old lady made it for me. She said, uh, you'll be a beauty in the future. That is not possible. I do not plan on growing older than I am now. I dislike humans, but they are very warm. The city of Uruk was like a dream for me. I wanted humans to be nice to me. I wanted to be nice to humans. That is how I wanted it to be. That is what my old self wanted. It's the dream, the adult me. The grown-up me can no longer remember. Thank you for the gift, but I can't accept this. Tanner, please hold on to it. I don't have the right to wear it. That old lady's grandchild was killed by a demonic beast at the Northern Wall. Let's depart at sunrise and defeat Gorgon. That is why I am here. Still, this journey changed my reason for fighting. You see, before I was merely fighting for myself. But now I'm fighting for the people of Uruk, too. That is the least I can do to pay them back. Hmm. Well, well, isn't this a coincidence for us to run into each other in the middle of the night? You're not gonna sleep, Merlin? Eh, you ask if I sleep or not? Alright, I never told you about all the little Merlin trivia. Fruger! Oh, stupid cat plug, attacking me again, what did I ever do to you? Fofo! Wanna talk about myself a little? Because we've all been together for a pretty long time now. I don't think speaking about who I am or what I am at this point would be all that interesting. Well, if Tanner can't sleep, then it could be a good bedtime story. How about this? You can ask me one question. 
Topics like human growth and guidance are just a little pain to answer, so normally I either say silent and lie my way out, but just for tonight I'll answer anything you want to know. Come on, ask away. Of course, you can just walk away and not ask me anything. I would actually prefer that more. Um, why would you decide to serve King Gilgamesh or are the one you... Oh, this is interesting. Ah, so you're going there. That's a little painful. No, quite painful for me. I am the one who sent him to the Holy Land. When the Lion King appeared, that's when he appeared in Avalon. In order to solve that twisted fate, there was no other way but to send Bedivere over. I knew very well that it would be a cruel decision forced onto him. I am inhuman, but that doesn't mean I'm a scumbag. I didn't want Bedivere to suffer if it could be avoided. But, you know, if only the Lion King disappeared, or if only Bedivere remained in Avalon. As a fellow member of the Round Table, it would have felt odd. I mean, I was King Arthur's mentor, after all. Even though I was aware of Bedivere's pain, I decided to prioritize correcting Artoria's mistakes. Foo-foo! Ow, ow, stop clawing at me, you! Give me a break, it worked out better than expected. There's no way to save that Betty and the Lion King together. And I think I did a darn good job. Ugh, oh, well, just like Dr. Roman said. Well, of course, I'm not human like you. I'm a completely different creature who just happens to have a human form. Humans may call me a sage, but not once have I ever acted in their interests. I'm a mix between an incubus and a human. Incubi are spirits that feed on the minds of humans. Yes, the minds, that's what it is. Sure. Usually they don't have an identity. That's because they copy the personality of the human they're feeding off of. Incubi just take human mental activity as a source of energy. However, I'm half human, so I have half an ego. I came to hold a sense of purpose. I only came to be called a sage because I learned that was how everyone would accept me. I'm no more than a monster pretending to be human. I studied humans and tried experiencing emotions, but I still couldn't understand them. Of course, I have intelligence, so I understand human pain, but I can't really understand the burden of it. No matter how far I get, it's always someone's dream. I can speak of love and hate, but I truly cannot experience them. Woo. However, even for someone like me, there's one thing that will bring me happiness. A unique purpose that only I have, even among other incubi. What's that? A happy ending for mankind, of course. Mankind's final moments, I want to see the very last human's dream. If you humans don't exist, then neither do I. I'm a phantasmal. We lose meaning without you. Oh, I guess he is a phantasmal, huh? Incubi don't have any direction or preference. Well, maybe we lean towards bad dreams since they're higher in nutrition. But I still have an ego. I don't have a meaning, a purpose. I can't live. So I have chosen your ending as my purpose. Humans are foolish, not in a philosophical way, but in a biological sense. There are no other intelligent species so wasteful in the universe at the same time. There are none so unpredictable either. We humans are truly flawed creatures. But, but the history you create is beautiful. This much I can say with certainty. No matter what kind of end humanity faces, your history will be worth leaving in this universe. Well, that's real deep, dude. Foo-foo. Same here. Well, that's it for me. Romana Archimans, a Romani Archimans evaluation of me is correct. Nothing will stop me from obtaining what I want to see. This time is no different. So feel free to use me as you like, child of humanity. As long as it's for your tale, the lo one long history that'll be, what that'll one day be complete. I'm willing to dedicate my body and soul. <laughs> it's not going to be complete anytime soon, from what it seems like. Oh boy. Okay. Up to the Northern Wall. Decisive battle. We got some archers and we got some riders, huh? Well, the rider's the tough one. Grab you. And then we want some kill archers. So we got these two. We'll switch you out for another assassin. That should be good. That should be good. Okay, let's go. See how we do. It's a lot of them. It's time. We already have troops assembled inside the Northern Wall. An hour after we leave here, the troops will be deployed to prepare for the decisive battle on the Demonic Front. I give it about a 50-50 chance that Gorgon will be lured by our diversion, but the Demonic Beast will definitely come out of the Cedar Forest. That's how strong their desire for revenge against humans is. 
We won't be able to suppress their urges if the humans form a line against the wall. So we have confirmation of that, we'll infiltrate the Cedar Forest from the ruined city of Babylon and head into the Blood Fort. Yes, Katsukwad will defend the Northern Wall. And me, of course, meow! Here I am, just in the nick of time. Uh, just, just ignore her. That's the correct answer. The infiltration team will be me, Tanner, Mash, Anna, and Merlin. Roger that. We'll redirect three slides of Sheba on Quetzalcoatl and monitor the situation at the Northern Wall. Oh, three, was it three slides? So it's like a multi-monitor system. That makes sense. All right, let's begin. Tanner, give me your orders. Operation Marduk Blitz begin. Oh, everyone's cheering. We're like a commander. That's pretty cool. Got enemy signatures already. Looks like a group of rogue demonic beasts from Babylon. Let's be a skirmish before you enter the Cedar Forest. Let's do this. All right. Easy peasy. Send out my whole team. It is, I will say, the story... Yeah, wow. Um, it's amazing seeing the difference, you know, pre and post Camelot. 11 of these guys, okay. It's wild how much they improved the writing and the, the even just the localization too. Like it's it feels twofold. It doesn't just feel like they improved the the localization, but also the writing itself has just gotten way better. Let's just use this now while we still have it, because just pop this out and clear out three of ten. Liz is another one that, you know, when I first got her, I'm like, alright, it's Liz. But now I'm like, no, Liz is kind of great. Oh, we only cleared out two, but that's fine. Boy, I got real lucky on that first roll, huh? I'll never get over that. People were like, how are you so lucky? And it really gave me a false impression of the rates of this game. <laughs> it really made me think like, man, this game, you get a lot of these, you know, kind of rare guys. And it's like, no, that's not the case at all. It really, I will say, it really does though feel like people weren't joking about sometimes it feels like you get a ton and sometimes it feels like you get none. Like, it feels like the timing changes. But yeah, I can, I can feel that for sure. Okay, we're gonna do this. Get rid of the guy in the back. I wonder if all these guys have models for the arcade game, because um, when I played... When I played Grand Order Arcade, um, like, all the other mook type enemies that you face in the first, like, two chapters, because I played through uh, up to the end of Orleans there. Um, so you have, like, the dragons. You don't have the big dragons, but you definitely have the um, the small wyverns. So you, you, they do have, like, accurate 3D models that, you know, um, you do face. So that is something that, you know, I wonder if all I wonder if all these guys have that as well. I'm gonna say probably not, but we'll see. Well, I say we'll see, implying that game will come out here, even though it's like so perfect for console, aside from the gotcha element, but just like change that out into gameplay Change it out to be like this, like you don't have to worry about downloading the card. Just do it normally, you know? Cute. Um, just do it normally, make it into like a normal video game with gotcha-ish elements, you know. Heck, make it free to play on console. That would still do really well, I think. Well, part of it will. The actual, um, I'm gonna say not the gameplay, well, the multiplayer part could do well if it went free to play. What is going on? Oh, I got a I got a group text which I've like never got before, so I was a bit freaked out. I was a bit scared because when I get group texts, usually usually spam or something. So it was for work. Man, you know what's really really real? Oh hi Ugalu. You know what's really 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 good about um doing this on a phone emulator? Every single part I record, I probably get 
seven or eight notifications. And obviously I wouldn't want you guys to see them because they usually deal with my, you know, real life and stuff. So because of that, it's like I don't have to worry about it if I'm on a phone emulator instead of an actual phone. So that's pretty cool. And, I, and in general, I'm very happy going for, I was a bit worried when I first changed over from Blue Stacks to Nox, but now I feel like Nox is the better one. I think Blue Stacks runs the game a bit better. But at the same time, it doesn't have that dumb audio glitch that was just the worst, that clicking of the audio. It was real bad. Maybe they fixed that in an update, but it only happened with... It only happened with, um, this game. So there's something about it. It's strange. Even when I say, like, don't give permission for microphone. Eh. It is what it is. And it was like, if it was just... If the, the emulator was running, it doesn't matter if I was directly recording it or not, it would still make the audio popping, and I don't know why it would do that. So yeah, changing over to Nox was a good thing. Alright, let's head to the Cedar Forest. Enemy demonic beast annihilated, good work. I'm not picking up any more around the area. Looks like this was all the demonic beasts that were nesting in Babylon. Ishtar, you're helping quite a bit. I know, I was thinking this was where it all started, so that's why I got all fired up. Back then, I thought, what a rude human, how could I torment him? Sorry to bother you mid-conversation, Tanner, but could you put me through to Dr. Roman? It's been an hour. How's the Northern Wall looking? The battle has just begun. First wave of demonic beasts has passed through Dnieper and are all will engage with the Northern Wall Defense Force in five minutes. And leading the charge is a young man with green hair. It's Kingu, commander of Tiamat's 11 offspring. Oh boy. They're coming! First line, get ready! It's time to use what King Leonidas taught you! Someone pointed out that, like, every servant summoned by Gilgamesh was Japanese except for Leonidas, and I gave a very simple answer. Japan loves 300, so that's where it's from. Listen, you should only fight on the front for about half an hour. Our individual power won't prevail against them. Get tired, fall back to the fourth line, rest, get new weapons, breathe steadily, and wait to return to the fight. They're making contact! It's time to show the king just how strong us survivors are. Men attack! That's gonna go great. Rip you. Oh! The great animal war begins, meow! We should head out too, Cuckoo. The people at the Northern Wall accepted me quickly and let me eat good meat. We can't let these formidable warriors die. I agree, Jaguar. Normally both sides of a fight are at fault, but those demonic beasts were twisted by Gorgon. They've lost their ability to reproduce in order to up their combat capability. They're sad creatures that will die out once this is all over. Are they good or are they evil? No say, but I would rather fight for the side that has a future, yes. All right, let's go. Time for me to show you the pow, pow, power of the jungle. Jaguar, that pun doesn't work. Oh, I thought it was a servant, but it's just you, Quetzalcoatl. Haven't seen you since Mother took the throne. I assume the three goddess alliance fell apart. No, it actually kind of didn't. We got our own new one. Yes, Suresh Kagal and I have withdrawn from Uruk. I'm helping the humans now. I see, that's unfortunate. You were a wise goddess. <laughs> Was she? Suresh Kagal aside, I thought at least you would have understood Mother's grief. You, the goddess that had the civilization she nurtured destroyed by the savage conqueror, Do Cortes. The guy from... Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. I felt sympathy for you when you said that you would destroy every single human. I thought that you alone would take on the world and become an avatar of slaughter. So where is that goddess? Where? I'm right here. What? Okay, just kidding, yes. That's enough silly faces, yes. Prepare yourself, King Yu. I'm going after Gorgon as soon as I take you out. I'm going to keep marching forward and take the heart of the one who is imitating Tiamat. Considering that, consider that my thanks to her. Thanks, and what thanks would that be? Thanks for not trying to kill me. Thanks for helping me find a wonderful master. Yes, I will ignore my pledge as a goddess for my master. Gorgon's head will be mine. You are absurdly strong, Quetzalcoatl. More than that, you're altogether absurd. Couldn't be more disappointed. We don't need a stupid goddess in our new world. We will shred you to pieces along with your precious winged servants. Serpents, rather. Different word. Different word. Quetzalcoatl's keeping Kingu busy for now. 
As long as she's still with us, King won't get close. Alright, everything's going according to plan. Get Squaddle's good at getting people worked up. That's an adult goddess for you. She's flat out lying and kindling in King Wu's anger. I don't know what part of that was a lie. Any ideas, Senpai? Uh, the part where she won't make faces anymore? It's the part where she said she would ignore her goddess pledge. Quetzalcoatl is far more powerful than Gorgon. King Wu can't stand idly by if Quetzalcoatl says she's going to take out Gorgon even if it kills her. That makes sense. Now that you mentioned it, that's true. It sounded so obvious I didn't notice. At any rate, the plan is proceeding nicely. Let's head to the Cedar Forest. There's no resting from here. Let's go, everyone. All right. It's wild how long each chapter takes now. It used to be so quick, and now it's like, no, each chapter is like an hour. Wow, we're just going all the way there, huh? Well, we got riders only. Well, that makes my job easy. Do we have anyone else? We could go with, um, Summer Ushi. Bring Ushi back with the Summer Ushi. What is this one? Oh, it's her portrait. That's pretty cool. It's nice art. Someone really likes Ushi. Someone really likes Ushi. Want to kill Ryder? Let's bring you up. Like that. Sounds good. Uh, yep, that should be good. All right. Let's go. Oh, just a battle. Hey, we need some of those sometimes. Every now and then. We, we, we good to go? Video game, y'all loading? There we go. Had to load up this deep new environment. I like how, you know, as just video games go on, you pick up words from Japanese, and I heard the word Shugyo, which, thanks to Kingdom Hearts, I know is training, you know? Just one of those things. Video games sure do be teaching words. Smack ya. Okay, and that's Enyorokobe, means rejoice, so hey, I know that too. Um, wow. Sure wonder what I'm gonna get from this, huh? Okay. Let's see if we get a crit. Nope. <laughs> Sonic spin. Um, similarly, let's do this. Okay, good. Because that means we'll get a lot more stars. 30 of them. It's not bad. Okay. Ooh! You are a large Dargan. Well, I know how to handle a, a, a Dargan here. Oh, nope. There we go. Shove you into an Iron Maiden. That is way too big for you. Though, um, it's interesting watching the, um, the footage of Carmilla in, again, Grand Order Arcade. It's really good for recontextualizing some of the attacks in Grand Order. To see them in 3D or in, you know, um, a more, you know, a different environment, you really get to see, like, yeah, how they work. I will say... There's so, like, I, the fact that I, even when I'm playing this, all I can think about is Grand Order Arcade, a game that, like, I'll probably never be able to play again, is just, like, so bitter. It's, like, such a bitter pill to swallow. Wow. Can you die? Well, we can get a big Uchi combo. That'll definitely kill him. Yeah. I feel like there's no way they won't re-release it in some way. There's too much in it. Because if you look at the servant list, one, it's getting exclusive servants. Both um, Rama's sister and now female um, Merlin are in it, right? So it's like, wow, that's cool. That means a lot, actually. Um, can we get a another super for you? that so i hope one day we get it 
if not a console version, but like maybe like a, I don't know, because that's the only real way. It would have, again though, it would have to be a version that allows for the virtual collecting of, of the cards, right? So, we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll do you first and then there we go, yeah. See how this goes. Also, even, again, even if I were to go to Japan, though, I'd have to take... I, I framed those cards, and I probably won't want to take them down because it was a lot of work to do so. I'd only have to take a couple, though, so I wouldn't have to take them all. Because, like, just like in Fate, there's like... Well, now that I know what the cards do, it's like, oh, cool, it's the same effects. You know, for the craft essences, at least. Um, but there's a couple where I'm like... I'm not going to use that, you know? That's going to kill the front one. Okay, good. He's like, no, my friend died. Um, okay, we got a full combo with you. Let's see how much we can do. Now, that has the quick down. Does that mean you take more damage from quick? It looks like it. Yeah, seems like it. Okay. And... Exact same thing again. Real cool. Also, you got quick... You got two quick ups, and you have a quick down on him. So, yeah, like, yeah. It's gonna do... Even if it's quick, the good damage. Okay. Got that. Hey, they both leveled up at the same time to the same level. How neat. Nut! Okay. Wait. Stop, Merlin. I'm picking up signals of divinity from 300 meters ahead. It's the Blood Fort. Send the signal to Quetzalcoatl. Alright, leave it to me. Special Britain spell. Altria, it's time for dinner? What? I mean, it makes sense, but... Oh my god, it's a dinner... It's... It's a dinner flare. So obviously, I like how even here we're getting the Saber lore. So obviously, Saber, even when she was a king, loved to eat. A flare? Sent by a flare-like thing just went up. Tell me more about that spell. Tell me, we still haven't taken cover. That massive thing is going to come down right on top of us. If we're not the least 300 meters away from the impact, we're going to get blown away too. Oh, uh, whoops, my hand just slipped. Womp womp. <laughs> oh, Merlin, we love you. Oh. Hey! I will murder you, Merlin. What? What's wrong, everyone? For a second, I thought there was lag. You're all so still. Did something happen? Merlin threw his staff. Oh, because it aims for the staff, so he throws it! So... Suicidia? To Google Translate. Translate. Uh, is it suicide? Let's see here. Spanish. So, suicida. Suicidal. Okay. Sounds good. I just heard Quetzalcoatl scream many miles away in Babylon. Yeah, that was... Yeah, it was terrible. I can't help it if my hand slipped. I didn't think my staff would become a beacon that would lead the axe there. My bad, my bad. Looks like the axe didn't hit us, but instead buried itself right in the blood fort. Well then, that worked out perfectly. We can't let Quetzalcoatl's noble phantasm sacrifice go to waste. We have things we need to do. Now it's time for the final battle. Foo, 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 foo. Was that like a battle cry? I love his womp womp. Oh my god, he's the best. Okay, that's when the flare went up. Signal! Playtime is over, Kingu! 
Axe of Marduk, you brought that all the way from Eridu? Still. Something that large isn't going to do you any good. You're supposed to use your trump cards after stopping your opponent, bird brain. That's just uncalled for, yes? I considered pounding your face into the ground to make you think on what you said, but I'll forgive you this once, yes. Things have gone exactly according to plan, yes? The axe was just a mere ticket to get through. I'm just a courier who delivers things to their destination at the appointed time for... And then it just rips out of her hand. Oh no, Cuckoo turned into fried chicken, and in Spanish, suicida means suicide. I'm not fried chicken, I'm a bird of fire. A divine punishment fell from heavens. Meow, Cuckoo had so much divinity, but now it's dropped by over half. You broke the goddess pact, but maybe it was okay because you didn't really mean to? Merlin, you'll pay for this. Oh, I see. I'm totally, and I mean 100% maximum goddess fury mode going to punish you with the ultimate lucha. Morgan's divinity is falling. Did the axe destroy the temple? Quetzalcoatl, you still dare to back the humans? Yes, I wasn't planning on going this far, but I guess I did in the end. But don't worry, Kingu, this is as far as my help goes. I like how unintentionally she did it, which means that she only loses about half her divinity. I won't lay a finger on Morgan, destroying her is a job for the humans. Damn it, that little goddess isn't here. This is terrible. She's the one servant I can't let go. I have to go save her, save Gorgon. Looks like you get to live a bit longer, Quetzalcoatl. I'll take care of you after I save Gorgon. Seems the rest is in Tanner's hands, yes? But that was surprising. Kingu was really concerned about Gorgon. I know Kingu is using Gorgon for their own benefit, but maybe they love her in their own way? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I actually have no clue. Whatever happened to the Bull of the Heavens? Is that a thing? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, do we have here... What do we need? We need, if it's an Avenger, we need a Moon Cancer. See here. Well, I see a Moon Cancer, but I want to be able to use the Noble Phantasm. So, any of you got Moon Cancers? There we go. B B B B B B B B B B B. So let's get you. And let's switch you out for our own B B B B B B B. And then let's move you up to help. Then, hmm, who else could be helpful? Um, hmm. Honestly, you're cheap and could provide constant healing, so that's pretty good. And in terms of anti-servant stuff, no, nope, not you. We want you to be here to help out. And then as the backup in the end, we can put in our undying brother here. Not very strong, but enough to just... Keep on surviving, you know? And we're gonna switch out um, that. That's that's not bad with you, because that's well, noble phantasm strength, no, we want one that's just arts card up and fifty percent. Hmm. Sure. The gain on that's pretty good. And I think we'll switch out this for the aerial dive, for buster up, and noble phantasm strength up. All right, let's go. Wow, yeah, that's so... Oh. Gross. So this is Gorgon's temple. The walls lined with what looks like cocoons. There's shadows inside. Oh, gross. Better not to look, you... Really don't want to see. Wait, wait, these... these shadows are... We're going to kill Gorgon. I'm not one to talk about myself and the other goddesses. But this is going too far to desire something more productive than humans to get revenge on them. That defeats the whole purpose. Let's go, Mash. Don't look at them. But... but... Don't look! They're alive. They've changed, but they're all still alive. Mash, Tanner, please hurry. King Yu has left the front lines and is heading towards you at high speed. At this rate, you'll have to fight both Gorgon and Kingu, and you won't have a chance then. I'll take you there. I know where Gorgon is. 
I'm sorry, Mash. I know it's difficult, but I'm going to ask you ask of you anyway. Now is the time to fight. Please lend your power to defeat Gorgon. Ooh, it's like we're in the belly of a beast. She's here. That long tail of hers is wrapped along the cave's walls. Oh, Tiamat, mother of demonic beasts, no. Opposite deity, Gorgon. Your divinity is all but gone. Give up and show yourself. Well, if it isn't the little insects I let go. You're so loud, humans. Do you run amok knowing that this is Tiamat's bedchamber? Oh, I'm in Mommy's bedchamber. You're, you're the one who did all this. Why, Gorgon, you said you'd take revenge on humanity. That you'd be a goddess for the beasts whose land was stolen, we could at least understand, but why do something like this? If you want to fight humans, conquer our land, and build a kingdom, we don't have the right to deny you. But the way you're twisting and mixing things, that saves nothing. What is it that you want revenge on? You want reason. There is none to be found here. Salvation, evening the scales, those are for those who have something to reclaim. For those with nothing left, there is only destruction. Returning our lands, restoring our kingdom, what could that matter? There's nothing left for us. All we love has slipped through our fingers. All we protected is gone from this land. Even I have burned to ash and vanished. There's nothing left that I want. There is only vengeance, destruction. I will kill everything, trample everything, slay the whole world, and die myself. That is what it means to be an Avenger. That is what I want. I will destroy a rook. I will destroy every human. For such is the level of hatred you humans had for me. It seems that girl doesn't know how ugly the world is. She must have lived a happy life. It's true, I grew up in a really good environment. It was a very Caucasian neighborhood. There's no sense in talking to a girl like that, but you, Tanner, you understand, right? Yeah, I'm from the hood. <laughs> oh my god. You're a human, and humans created me. Created this Avenger. If you find reason within my words, then nod. If you embrace my purpose, then I will keep you as my master. Not a bad deal, is it? When this era disappears, the world of man is forever gone. Or perhaps it already happened. You have been the last human for so very long. You have no reason to fight for the people of this time. <laughs> Call it the whim of a goddess. After everything is destroyed, I shall set a single human loose into the barren wastes. Senpai. Uh-oh. Well, th thank God there's no option, because honestly, I wouldn't know what to say. There's no reason for your hate. What? Yes, that's right, Master. There's nothing in Gorgon's words I can agree with. You were created by humans, and even if you have the right to seek revenge, I refuse to accept you. That twisted form of yours is a reflection of your own heart. <laughs> you can't even come up with a comeback. She's got you there, Gorgon. You're just a fake who became a goddess with the Grail's power. You got no right to call yourself Tiamat. You dare call me a fake Tiamat? You, a girl who can't even materialize without a human vessel? I've got everything right. Even with Potentia Theron, you're no match to Tiamat. First of all, Mother didn't need other creatures to create demonic beasts anyway. She could make a world on her own. She'd never do something as half-assed as use the people she wanted for revenge or wanted revenge on to get her revenge. Ishtar's right. Gorgon, you're not Tiamat. You're just a monster who lost sight of who she truly is. Why, you? What is this? Why do I feel so cold? My whole body is shaking. I can't maintain the composite deity. My mind is going. My reason is coming back. What's going on, Kingu? Kingu, where are you? What is that servant? I've never seen such an ugly servant. Take her away. Get her out of my sight. Someone, anyone, kill her. Get that monster out of this temple. I knew it. You can't see me, can you, Gorgon? If only you tried at least a little, there may still be some chance of saving you. Are you okay with this, Medusa? Yes. I've always told my- I like how there's an option of I totally know exactly who you are. I've always told myself that I should not live. It is wrong for me to be here. It's wrong for me to smile. But all of that was wrong. I wanted to live. I wanted to be here. I wanted to smile. She was the result of that, as was I. Thank you for helping me see that, Tanner. I see. Are you ready, Anna? It will unleash the divinity you've held back this whole time. Yes, I will allow it, Merlin. I fell for your trick. Now show me the answer. Tanner, Mash, lend me your strength. I'll use my mystic eyes to offset hers. I do not know. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know you. Die, die, monster. Don't show that ugly face of yours to me. 
is so is it like literally that she looks there and she sees what looks like one of her sisters because if you think about it a small medusa is kind of like the sister right hmm interesting interest i mean there's there's the obvious too of it is just her you know as a human oh this place looks like a grail i never even noticed that so this looks like an actual winnable battle so let's try for that. Um, we got full combo here first. Let's see how we do. And she has no special buff anymore. Not bad, not bad. I forgot how quickly you raise their meter. Holy crap. Well, honestly, let's do this. And let's do this for more more with you. I mean, you don't need the gain. You're going to... Because they're going to gain the meter anyway. So let's just do big dumb attacks, you know? And MASH is ready to go. This same strategy will work out real good. Let's do this. This is going to be hilariously easy, I think, actually. What happens when I have a surprisingly good, you know, a good servant for doing this? Because the only other um, moon cancer you could have is the regular BB, right? You really can't see that sort of um, aura around her when you normally fight her, but when in this you really see it. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Like, relatively no damage and just big meter gain. And a single petrify. Let's do a mash combo. Won't be a lot, but it'll be a nice amount. Because, yeah, like, in general, mash is a good attacker, and I'm very happy, because normally when you have these, like, gotcha-ish games, it always feels like your starting one kind of always sucks. So to have one that's actually really good is a welcome change, I'd say. Alright, well, let's go. Like this, to get... Not only the meter back, but also then the power them up again. This is hilarious. And she's never going to get her Noble Phantasm off because they can get rid of guaranteed two, like one each time. Potentially two. This is hilarious. Look, gamers, I can do strategy. Mutation? Oh, guts? Okay. Okay, I don't even need to use the card lock, honestly. Let's it, let's instead do a a combo like this, because then that'll probably deal more damage instead. We'll just do instead of because inst the only overcharge is the um the meter loss, right? The charge loss. So. So we lost one, so that means it's like even now. And then next turn we use it again. We could lose two. We'll see. Okay. Okay, you're not you're not going to actually be able to do the thing again. Oh, that's new. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. Another full combo. And pretty soon, like, Mash will get her... her Camelot again. This is a bad battle. This is a real bad battle for Gorgon. I feel like, in general, this strategy will be very good on most Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> 
it is cool seeing the actual, like, black grail, or the angry mango looking stuff on it. I like that quite a bit. Um, like, look at how little damage she's done. Like, come on. Okay. Another Camelot. You'll never, you'll never be able to kill the two BBs. It's impossible. Okay. <laughs> All these zeros. Oh my god, you're- uh, this is wild, because it's like, you're supposed to be a threat? You're really not. So let's go. We'll not link him up, just so that hopefully, you know, we have a better chance of getting around the guts there. Because if this- if this kills, then the next hit will just be the, the one to go and kill otherwise. It looks like it did. Yeah, then the guts, 3,000. You're done. Wait, are you- whoa, 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 we just beat her? She disappeared. She very distinctly disappeared. That's not a fleeing. Huh. Okay. Wow! Holy crap! It's a lot of blood. Not yet, I won't end yet. I won't let it end. I will have my revenge. All of you who abandoned me, I'll scatter your blood and remains across the lands. Morgan isn't going down. She lost most of her divinity, but still. No way, she's still immortal? Her wounds have already healed, but she... Okay. Of course, you can never defeat me that way. I am Tiamat, the primordial goddess. I am Tiamat, I am Tiamat, or I should be. I can hear the voice, the voice of that sobbing mother. That's why I'm, I'm taking revenge in her place. Huh. Collapse is continuing. At this rate, we'll all be crushed. No, you're just a monster, Gorgon. The monster of the Shapeless Isle, Gorgon the Hero Slayer. Your fury will remain on the island. Anna, no, come back. Curse you, no, stay away. Don't look at me. Don't, don't. Yes, let's disappear together, Gorgon. This is the reason I was brought to this land. Did, did we Kingdom Hearts it? Nobody in the, the the Heartless combine to make a real person? Anna, give me your hand! We gotta save you! No! That's okay, the Singulator will repair and we'll summon her. That's how it works. Fake Grand Order. Oh? Oh. I have a feeling that this is going to be a... Hmm. I have a feeling that this is going to be... Well, let's get a... Let's... That's... That's... Because they're right. You, he might have a bonus here. I have a feeling that this is going to be... Um... A okay, I'm gonna switch you off for. Feel like it might be a demon tower. Possibly. Hmm. Okay, she'll be switch back up hitter. Do that. We'll do that because that's good for arts card effectiveness up. Yep. 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 Okay. 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 Let's see what happens. Throne has completely collapsed. Gorgon and Anna are gone. I've lost a spirit origin reading for both of them. Anna's weapon is a sight that causes wounds that never heal. A noble phantasm that kills immortals. Her last strike stripped Gorgon of her immortality. No, this is for Anna. Oh. Flower offering, it's sad, but I think she deserves it. Yes, I know it would have looked very good on her. How come I'm not getting a reading on the Grail? Gorgon should have possessed the King Mage King's Holy Grail. It's true that Gorgon used the Grail's power to regain the divinity she once had. She had the blessings of the Grail, but she didn't have the Grail itself. 
which means there's only one explanation. The Mage King's Grail is... Kingu. Enemy incoming, it's coming fast! The spirit origin pattern is... Mother, are you alright, Gorg? Ah... Uh, I see, so I didn't make it in time. I wasn't with her, so the Grail couldn't protect her. If that little goddess isn't here, does that mean she sacrificed herself to slay her? Sheesh. So even goddesses were just part of the old world, huh? I guess they lack the beauty to survive in the new world. Oh, what do you mean by beauty, Kingu? External beauty or beauty found within? Shut your mouth, Merlin. I am well aware. I am well and truly furious right now. I've never felt something so strongly. I've exterminated humans, but only as duty required. But now it's not duty that moves me. This is, I feel such a powerful hatred for you. I've never killed a human out of anger before. This will be a first for me. If only, if you only want to fight, fine, you really are different from Enkidu. Enkidu insisted on being a weapon until the end, never once killing out of any emotion. This mother of yours must have meant a lot to you, huh? I am king, it is natural for me to love Tiamat. And she too loved her creator, so this is all out of pity. Sympathy, I think you call it. King is ready to fight, master be careful. With Gorgon gone, her children will self-destruct. They were created by Gorgon's powers. The weaker ones won't be able to main- Oh, they're- Oh, they're bombs? The battle is over. The demonic front has ended with your victory, but... You'll find no joy in victory, virtuous ones who crushed a terrible Avenger. Are you satisfied having saved so many of your comrades? Then you will pay the price for that by dying here. Or are you changing form? King's spirit origin is changing. Keto types didn't do that? Tanner, be careful. King who's not a lancer anymore. The reading... For this one moment, I shall fight as an Avenger. It's the least I can do for her. Well, cool. Should be cool if I was told that to begin with. But now, I mean, hey, at least we have our, uh... At least we have BB as a switch-up backup hitter. Boy, having that order change one would be nice right now, but it's fine. It's wild that order change is, like, just a... A ability you can't always get. Well, that's fine. I think you're technically a servant, so you'd still be hurt by that. So let's see here. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. Let's start with the big guns, right? Camelot, Enuma, and then let's get Merlin here to get some more meter. Let's see how this goes. Oh boy! Well, at least if I lose here, the double BB strategy will still be BB real good, you know. Alright. Let's see if you get the extra servant damage. A little bit. A little bit. 80,000 is not bad at all. Oh, those zeros are real nice. See star drop rate? Okay, that presence detection gets rid of invincible. Which is not something we have right now, which is all good for me. A little bit of this. Just in general, attacking with big damage seems to be doing pretty good. Fitting also Gilgamesh is here. Well, that was actually a bit of damage. Transformation, Buster up. Charge gain? Okay. I was worried when I saw Restoration, but it's just a, um... Just get, give yourself another charge. Which is a problem, but not as much of a problem. Because then what I can do is I'll do... If they do it again, I can give Merlin the Invincible to, to try and not get it. That's fine. Okay. So then... So here's the thing. If they use it, they can instantly do their Noble Phantasm, right? So I'm gonna pop this on just right now. Just in case. And... If it does... If it... If King does their... Um, meter up, then we're safe. And if not, then I'll instead have... Mash do hers next turn instead. So we'll see here. Yeah, perfect form. Remove debuff, okay. Okay, so now... Oh, see, charge gain. 
So now we'll do this with you. So it's not an attack, it's after a certain number of turns. Okay. That's all good. We'll do... Avalon for healing. And I could do a full combo, but I kind of want Gil to get meter too, because he's kind of my primary attacker right now. We have, like, healing, defense, and attack. What is this? An MMORPG? Okay, let's see here. That's new. Nice job. That's what we wanted. Okay, we'll do... That. We'll do... That. And then we'll go... Like that. Big attack up. Big overcharge up. All that good stuff. Look at all these buffs. Look at all of them. Actually, the remove debuff kind of sucks, but it's a good thing that... Or no, remove... No, he's remove debuff, not remove buff. We're good. Only 65 this time? Alright. I think I didn't have uh, one of the buffs on him. I like those zeros. Okay. Um... Yep. So... 100%, huh? Very nice. Very good. Oof. Okay. Um. Big gill combos. Okay. I swear it feels like enemies have more, um, more skills than what you have, you know? Really feels like it. Also, someone's gonna die here. Um, well, unless you can at least try to be like. Get some, get some meter back, and get some, uh, get some health going, get some defense up, we'll see. It'll still probably, someone will probably die still. But at least the other ones will survive better, we'll see. Because the, the damage cut only works for, like, the first, well, the first hit, but... I think with a noble phantasm it counts as all that. I don't know. We'll see. Who are you gonna hit, though? Probably gonna be Merlin, I bet. Yeah, how did I know? Ripperoni to Merleoni. Okay, goodbye. Okay, now we have Martha. You might be able to deal some good stuff. Let's do this. Technically not by the water. I guess we don't need that. Well, debuff immune could be good. Let's see if you're affected by... um. Actually, let's hold on to that and let's do this first. I wonder if the... Oh, but then we got rid of the Jacob's limbs. Damn it, I keep forgetting that is a single turn buff. Dang it, that's fine. You're probably, you're probably, well, no, you would be divine, huh? Dang, well. Crit? 
Ah, dang it. Okay. This should be it then. Next turn with Martha's Noble Phantasm. God, Mash is so good. Alright, let's go. Oh, resist down. I didn't even notice that because of the fact that it is a an Avenger. I didn't even realize. Well, let's see how we do. Still dealing decent damage, so... Nope, still not enough. That's fine. Alright. Well, let's let's still finish this with Mar- well, oh, oh, this might be dumb, actually. <laughs> this might not still kill. Oh, I'm stupid. I wanted it to be cool! Okay. So, let's not be stupid. Let's just... Let's try and be not dumb. <laughs> I mean, it's only 5,000. Okay. There we go. That should be good. Dunzo! Fleeing, though. Interesting. Okay. Got that. Got some chains. Chain gang. That's a thing. I shouldn't say that. I don't actually know. Oh, no, that just means being in prison, right? I don't know. Bonk? The observation got cut off. Sheba's turning black and the light is not coming back. Tanner, what's going on over there? Gorgon is dead. The threat to that air is no more. So why does the seven singularity still exist? I guess this is it. I got a little too heated. How unacceptable. To think things would come to an end a day earlier than expected. She might have gone too far, but she did a fine job for us. So I wanted her to live just a bit longer before Mother's Awakening. Wait, what? Sheba 2, 6, and 9 are all damaged. The shaking isn't localized. It's a space-time quake. We speculate the spatial rifts are all occurring all over Mesopotamia. What's going on? Oh, by Merlin. Merlin? I see, we fell for it. Seems you've won the Battle of Wits. That's right, you tricky incubus. You put Mother in a cage of dreams to postpone her awakening. But when she fell asleep, she gave me the grail and made me her first son. Which meant that I had only one job. Find a way for her to awaken. It was simple enough. If she wouldn't wake up while alive, all I had to do was kill her. Morgan didn't have Tiamat's authority because she was a copy. She was synchronized. She shared her senses with the real Tiamat to gain Potentia Theron. That's right. And now Gorgon is dead. Gorgon's death reverberated back to the syn synchronized Tiamat and awakened her for- Oh boy! As a result, you revealed yourself within her dreams and she crushed you brutally. Now then, I no longer need the three goddesses to buy us time. Behold our true mother. Take a good look at the original sin of humanity. What is that? The sea is turning black? It's endless. It's black all the way to the ends of the world. Is this the apocalypse the king spoke of? Send a messenger to Uruk now. Tell them the port and sea are covered with black- Oh no! Not the black mud! Other changes include... Changes include... What's wrong? Rooftop, what did you see? What's that sound? What's happened? What- Whoa, what are those things? What am I looking at? They're not demonic beasts nor Sumerian monsters. Those things don't even exist in our world. They're eating people! They're ignoring the buildings and crops! They're only after the people! Oh god! No, that's not right. The people are being remade. <laughs> is that is that even possible? What I'm seeing is it's so... I'd rather die or get eaten. <laughs> oh god. Detecting a large number of unknown magical energy signatures in the Persian Gulf. Each one is stronger than a Nugalus. Their numbers, their total numbers are over 100 million and still growing. There's nothing Caldia or humanity can do to stop something like this. Like a flock of passenger pigeons covering the sky. <laughs> Ironically, humans drove those to extinction. That's right, no one can stop her now, not even the gods or the king of mages. But don't worry, you will be destroyed. 
but humanity will live on. The ones who will soon cover the earth are the next generation. Perfect humans that she just... I don't know if they're perfect, dude. Have you seen the, the, the way their mouths are? The vertical mouths don't work, work really well. The old humanity will disappear here now. The planet is ours. It's goodbye for real this time. You can meet your end quietly in a land covered by these new beings. Well, this is going in a direction I didn't think. Wait. Lamu, the last divinity birthed by Tiamat. You're really back, aren't you, mother? King was left the cape, but Dr. Merlin is... I screwed this up. Instead of trying to create some breathing room, I ended up hurrying things along. Return to a rook quickly. It's awakened, but it hasn't started moving yet. Can't avoid being wiped out, but there's still things we can do. Go tell Gilgamesh this. Tell him that one of the beasts of the counterforce, one that devours humanity, one that can only be beaten by the seven grands, has aroused from her slumber. Hold up, this is important. Beasts of... Tiamat is a beast of the counterforce. Are the beasts of the counterforce the weapons from Final Fantasy VII? One that can only be beaten by the Seven Grands has roused from... Oh, we're going to see more about the Grands? Sea of Life, the Primordial Mother, one of the seven evils of humanity, and one of the beasts of the original sin is awake. That's terrifying. That's not good. This is a problem. Uh... Well, this went in a direction I did not expect, but hey, we got ourselves a Saint Quartz. Is the map gonna change? No. They kind of- oh, it did! It just doesn't show it anymore. I like that. I like that more. Demise. Alright, guys. Uh, next time we'll be back for some more Fate Grand Order. Things are going bad. Let's hope they get better. See you next time. Ciao!